up today we're back with another match day vlog this time we're back at home it's swansea city versus huddersfield town in the sky Bet championship this saturday 3 p.m kickoff at the swansea.com stadium so yeah we're off the back of a 3-1 defeat away to leeds and um yeah that vlog you know did amazing um so a massive thanks for that it's now our most viewed vlog on the channel our first ever 10k video so yeah um you know much appreciated for that um we are also very close to 1400 subscribers so if you could um all subscribe if you're new that would be greatly appreciated because we're trying to hit that mark before christmas um if you could also try and uh, follow our TikTok, twitter and instagram um we're going to try and you know get get them to grow a bit uh, they'll all be linked in our description so yeah if you could follow us on all social media you know that would be um you know massively appreciated but yeah uh thank you very much for all those views on the leads vlog um it was incredible to be fair um but yeah um i'll catch up to when i'm with luke and the boys and see what they've got to say ahead of the game Right, so we've got the team lined up. We're doing a bit differently. I know we normally use a microphone, but we're running a bit late. Well, not late, but you know, the lineup's already out by the time we're in the car, which it normally isn't. So yeah, we're doing a bit differently. So Carl Rushworth, Jay Fulton, Ben Cabango, Matt Grimes, Jamal Lowe, Jamie Patterson, Josh Tyman, Liam Cullen, Kyle Norton and Liam Walsh both come in and Bashir Humphreys and then Luke will give you the bench. Uh, on the bench, we have Andy Kershaw, Josh Key, Harry Darling, Jerry Yates, Johnny Colassi, Charlie Patino, making the Joe on Oli Cooper and Cameron Connolly. Right, so now for Jacob's prediction. Obviously, he was a part vlogger on Wednesday because uh, Luke, wherever he is, disappeared again. Uh, disappeared on classic. Wednesday. Yeah, I'm he's done the classic. classic. Uh, so, yeah, uh, what is your prediction today then? I'm going to say 2 1 win today. Um, win the best against Leeds, but there were some signs of promise. Funny enough, once Balassi come on, he taken players on. So, I think 2 1 win today. I think Balassi has to score, so it'll be a late winner for us, I think. Um, and Callum probably score another goal. So he's he's been waiting for a goal now. Patterson's had his two, and Callum's waiting now, so he's next on the list. Yeah. Right, so we're going to give you mine and Luke's prediction as well. Um, so yeah, obviously I didn't attend the game on Wednesday, but I did watch it, and you know I think we need to bounce back, to be honest with you. Um, I am confident, but at the same time, you know they've got two good results. I think they got a draw against Southampton and a win against Sunderland, so two very good results, but. I think we're going to bounce back. I'm going to say Swansea City 2, Huddersfield 0. I'm going to go with Jamie Patterson to continue his good goals going form and then Jamal Lowe. But yeah, what about you? Um, I think it's going to be a tough game. Huddersfield have done well in the last two games. Uh, obviously beat Sunderland in the midweek and then uh, Judas Savantham on the weekend. So, And we're not exactly on the best of form. So I think I'll go for... I think we can just about win this 2-1. Um... You know, we need, to, we need to try and get the fans back on a tough side, really. So I'll go for two on Swans, I reckon. Uh, I think... I'll, I'll go for Danny Ward to score for um, Huddersfield, and then for us. Uh, I'll go for Jamal, though, and then I'll go for Arlie Cooper as well. Right, food review. We, d we never really get food from the ground, either of us, but yeah, Luke's got some cheesy chips. Uh, yeah, I was starting today, I've eaten so far, so some cheesy chips. Four bum fits, a bit of a rip off, really. Uh, I'm going to go and give it a taste test. First, not too bad, I think it's still one easy done. Yeah, you can half it. Uh, yeah, the cheese, the butter cheese itself, just.
half time at uh, Swansea City nil, Huddersfield Town 1, where we fought on our first round. Uh, to be fair, we have been the better side, but it's just in the final third, but we should not get it right. You know, some of the shots going way over. Um, you know, Huddersfield, they haven't really done much in the game at all. Really. They, they, had, they had that one chance at the start, which was obviously an own goal off the bang, no, but apart from that, they haven't really looked dangerous at all. So, you know, we have been the better side, but we just can't finish to save our life. So, it's a bit of a shame to one down the already. I know it's only half time. And obviously, we do have subs to bring on as well. We have Jerry Yates on the bench, or last on the bench, um, and Arnie Cooper as well, to be fair. So, you know, we do have subs that we can bring on this time, which is good. But, yeah. Like, I, I don't know what tactics are for this game, to be honest. It's like Colton's playing quite far on the pitch, where he's a defender, and I'm not going to know about that. Um, yeah, we're just all over the place. Normally, when we take the lead, we end up losing the game. But, you know, we've gone 1-0 down, so hopefully we don't want to win the game. But, you never know. Yeah, it's not really been quite a good performance. We've been expected to be the better side, but at the end of the day, you know, we've all played great, and we can't get to improve. Right, three changes for the Swans then. So Kyle Morton goes off and Harry Darling comes on to replace him. Also, Bashir Humphreys goes off, uh, Jerry Yates comes on to replace him. And uh, Liam Cullen goes off and Yannick Balassi makes his home debut to replace him. So yeah, three changes for the Swans there. Time, Swansea City won, Huddersfield Town won. What are your thoughts on that? Um, shocking result, shit performance, can't score goals for shit. Um, you know, just wasteful going forward. So many, you know, we had so many corners, so many chances. Well, I actually made a huge impact when he came on, no doubt about it. And he was definitely by far our best player. But, yeah, it's just, you know, it's a shocking goal to concede at the start. You know, I don't know why Cabango was starting anyway. I think Dallas has been miles better this season, in my opinion. And, um, you know, people will definitely be asking questions about Duff now, there's no doubt about that. Um, you know, you, you heard the booze at the end when he came over to clap the fans. But, you know, we have some tough games coming up, you know, we have Rotherham away, which we should win realistically, but just like, you know, there's some of the hardest we'll probably sell out and troll that. So, yeah, it's been a shocking, shocking game. You know, we should have won the game easily, but it was just shocking, to be honest. Fair play to the hardest fans and Yeah, I mean, the fans, you know, blatantly booed Duff. Um, yeah, as I said, he, he, you know, he's going to be under a lot of pressure now, but, um, you know, to draw a game like that at home, 
the fact we were searching for an equaliser rather than a winner or other, well we should, we should have even you know been winning in the first half to start with anyway but um yeah you know it is what it is um but yeah jacob what's your, what's your thoughts on, on luke's performance he didn't go missing this wow time. it was absolutely mental uh, for once he's he showed up he's one stellar performance on the vlog today absolutely stellar i couldn't have could not asked for anyone yeah, it's true. I, yeah. you know if the swan performed as well as luke today then exactly. it's great but they performed like he did last yeah. week not, not against leeds and it was that that was poor yeah, if, if, you see, if you've seen the Leeds vlog, you, you'll know exactly what we're on about. But um, yeah, <laughs> unfortunately, the Swans couldn't be uh, as good as Luke's performance uh, tonight. But um, yeah, once again, a massive thanks for watching this. And we will be back um, next Friday night for our match preview ahead of Rotherham away. So stay tuned for that. And thanks for watching.